last time on Up Close and Personal. Okay. And the power suit is back there. Good. Yes! 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 Flashbang is complete. Flashbang grenade. Recent findings from some of the alien captives have given our scientists new insight into disabling these extraterrestrial foes. Using a blast of intense light energy, these new flashbang grenades stun our opponents and may prove useful in capturing live aliens. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. This is Ivan Dogovich, up close and personal with Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. In this 21st episode, we will continue to clear a large scout. A large scout UFO. We have been using our flashbangs. <laughs> it's really funny that uh, in the previous episode, I hadn't noticed until post production that I was working on last night that we actually got two for one. So there's this um, sectoid stunned in the upper room here who dropped when Mudmash or two stunned this guy. So the blast was big enough that it dropped this guy too and so that was pretty cool. This guy has been stunned when we tossed a flashbang in here, and this guy's been killed, so we've accounted for four aliens. We should have more over here still yet, so I expect to see one when we pop around the corner. And we've got some in the enemy craft. We've a door here and maybe a door here, so we'll be clearing the rest of this today. So let's get moving here. Pretty sure we moved everybody we needed to move in the last episode. All right, so let's go ahead and go next turn. Nothing. I didn't hear a thing. That's interesting. Okay, and the sound does work. <laughs> Wondering there for a second. Okay, so, well, that's good. Um, I wonder if I should have somebody go babysit those stunned ones. It might not be bad. All right. We were just going to check in here, okay, and we did, so now we feel good. And we'll check over here. Wow, that was not very much time, and you ran out of it pretty quick. Ah, uh, droid. Hello? Oh, hi! That's what I thought. So just glancing, um, there's so much gray involved in a sectoid in his gray little body and in the weapons that they carry I can't really tell what he's got but to me it looks like it's a bigger weapon than a smaller one and there's an open door I can't tell if uh, by fog gazing through the blackness I don't think there's an open door here but there is definitely an open door there yeah so let's go ahead and Duck back. Run away! Okay, so... The... Chances are... We, we've got a lot of people here. And we may be able to just shoot through all the walls. And I'm kind of okay with that. So I'm going to put it on snapshot. I'm going to use the control key to... He's shooting through all the fences. He doesn't like the fences. There we go. Hey, now, don't shoot. Well, okay, so, so anybody's power armor is going to hold up to that. Okay, so that didn't quite work as well as I was hoping. So most of the fences are now gone. Let's try this again. Um, yeah, so it's not taking out the walls. Hmm. I know that, right, the, 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 the brick lowers are tougher than the uppers, so bear it. You go to here, how many, not, there we go, um, if you go to there, you don't have a lot of time, sectoid coming around the corner may or may not have a lot of time. You are not carrying a proxy grenade, are you, sir? 
See, that's the thing I could do. I could throw a proxy grenade right here and walk away. It's actually a pretty good, pretty doggone aid. Mr. Bad News, you have a proxy grenade. And your toss could go to about there. I like it. Okay, droid. Come back to there. Look that way. Mr. Bad News, prime this, sir. Yes. Throw it to... Okay, close enough. When he comes to here, it should go off and it should destroy him. Alright, um... Now having said all of that, and done all of those things... Come around the corner, Mr. Scott. Oh, you're gonna be in the way. Uh, Rosie, is your grenade... Your grenade is prime. That's good. Prime grenades are good grenades. Because you can deal with whatever you find in the door there. So you don't find anything right off the bat. Yeah, we can see through the smoke a bit now, too. Barrett. Come over here and give me a scan. That's Rosie. This is the droid. And there's somebody three tiles up from Rosie. There's somebody right here. Okay. Alright, well, that's good. Um, yeah, so getting back to our babysitters. Kind of would like to... Babysit our sectoids. Uh, that doesn't get you very far when you're running, girl. It, can it, you just... Yeah, so when the, if the sectoid soldiers revive, they're probably not going to revive. But if they revive, there's a setting in Open XCOM that you can use called Aliens Pick Up, Sold, Pick Up Weapons. And um, I don't remember if I've got it turned on or not. I think it's turned on, which means they can, if they re recover, pick up a weapon and shoot you. So you you kind of want to crowd control them. You want to like pick them all up and put them in one place. But uh, yeah, okay. So you're there on him anyway. Okay, Mudmasher, let's get you moving at least here. Is you running? Burning off some energy. Snake, you too can come this direction. It's good. Good training. Okay, Snake, let's see, who else we got here? We got another one with a flash bang. Perfect. That'll be good. Okay, Tenderfoot. Hmm. I'm going to leave you back here as a sniping mechanism. Hua. Dodge back into the smoke a little bit. Good. X Racer, you're pretty good where you are. Hope you guys are not becoming a grenade magnet. And Mr. Bad News, what else do you got in your pocket? Um, let's grab another grenade and just be ready. Okay. All right, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's go. Okay. Now, I don't know if they're smart enough to see the grenades and avoid them. I'm not really disappointed if they are. Hmm, I wonder if... Okay, so this wall is, is set up so that you can't get through there. So any aliens coming through will either come through this door or here. So I think we'll take another look I'm wondering if he's sneak stuck into the building okay don't get too close <laughs> that's as far as we want to go okay you go back around there and come over here fine okay I think it's breaching the craft time and Rosie lead the way anyone no good Okay, I like that. Cheek dose. You don't have a lot of time, girl. Okay, snake. I'm hoping that by putting you there, 
your heavy armor will help protect you and whack uh, same there Barret yeah I should have scanned before I moved those guys so those are our three guys there's somebody right over here and three others so there's four four in the craft there so one two three and somebody over here uh, okay okay it's looking pretty good Mud Masher 2. Good. Hmm. Where did that ED go? Uh, the other place he could have gone is back this way. If he was so inclined. Alright. X Racer, just duck there. He may take shots at you. I don't know, you know, it, but you may spot him. And you may get a reaction shot or two, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right, and everybody else, Hua, you've got a stun rod, sir. Why don't you run at the craft? Um, yeah, I think everybody else is looking okay. Let's go next turn. Still no action. I do think they avoid the the grenades. Given the opportunity, I do think they avoid them. Sneaky little, little bugger. Okay, scout. You there? Hello. Okay, nothing there. Hello. Nothing there. So you, that guy came down and down and down. Still no buddy, huh? Hmm. Okay, let's go up to here. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back. I hit the wrong button. You, I want to see what's underneath you. A sectoid navigator. Huh. Okay, put that in your pocket and pick... Oh, you don't have time to pick that up, but we'll pick that up in a minute. Okay, good. And... Barrett. Give me a scan on this craft. One, two, three, four. They're all above you here. Whack. Oh, nice. So they're all in this compartment. I think. Okay. Rosie. To there. Mud measure. Yeah, around that corner. Look that way. And snake. Put you right there. Okay. Actually, snake move side. Well, who? You come in here. Okay, so those guys are there, and I still got the sneaky sectoid that won't come out. Mr. Bad News, come back this way and help me scout from this direction. We'll see if we can pick him up like that. There he is. He did go around the other way. <laughs> wow, that was a lot of in-between turn action. Okay, so we got some shots at him. We don't think we hit. I think this guy is trying to shoot and destroy our lyrium no he actually hit whack whack are you gonna be okay um that's not what i meant to do i meant to do this one fatal wound and you got 25 health good okay that's not bad so this guy did his firing well who i know you can see him good stun him please nice Okay, Whack. Um, before that, Barret, give me a scanner. So that's Whack. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So somebody right over here. Uh huh. Whack, I think this may knock you out, but let's try it. No, it didn't. And it didn't even stun you. Ooh, your armor is good. Okay. There were four guys in here. 
So those are our guys. There's one guy here. And there's somebody else missing. No, no, don't move in there. Darn it. That's not you. I'm, I meant to move her. Okay, and... Rosie. Come here. Come there. You've got another one. Throw to there. Throw to one. Don't know if we dropped two there or not. I don't think we did. Okay, Rosie. Uh, snake. If you run to here, good. Yeah. You'll be able to spot anybody else. There's nobody else in there. Oh. Now, I thought we had four. We pick up four dots. We killed, we took care of three. I think somebody escaped the craft. Oh, you do see, who'd you see? Wait, 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 no. Oh, you see somebody through there. So there are two guys there. But I don't... And the droid doesn't see anybody. Where did the fourth guy go? Look behind you. Snake? Look behind you. One guy stepped in. Took care of him. One guy was at the door. We took care of him. One guy was here. I thought for sure that there were four dots in the craft. Okay. Alright, so then our last two sectoids that we know about for sure are here and here. Okay, so let's get these guys shooting. Gashoot the good the bad guy. Okay, tenderfoot. Aim shot, please. Oh, that's really bad. But that's really good. Nice. Okay, and you can see him through the building. Take a aim shot at him. Yeah, no line of fire. How about from here? You can't. Take a aim shot at him, sir. Oh, nice hit. Okay. And who, Mr. Bad News, if you run to here. Oh, along that line. You should clear the building and be able to see him. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. Come over here. Come back to there. This line of fire to there. Gives you enough for. Alright. Go to the knee and take. Oh, name shots. Not that great. Oh, nice try though. Nine. No, you don't have enough. Alright, Mr. Bad News. I hope you survive. Woo! And X Racer. I don't think you're gonna make it now. You have a grenade, and you could maybe throw it to there. Maybe. Hmm. Alright, I think... Barrett, you ran. You guys ran. And I like that we've got a complete power source. Yay! More of more lyrium. Awesome! Good. We're going to need more lyrium. More lyrium is always good. Yeah, E.T. didn't sneak out. I thought there were four. Okay, anyway, whatever. Whatever. Let's keep moving. Keep moving. Get, keep it focused, Ivan. Uh, yeah, so... End turn, please. Oh, taking lots of shots. Not getting anything. All right. That's the bad news. Let's try this again. Yay! Okay. That was my imagination. I thought I saw four dots, but okay, whatever. Aliens killed three. Live aliens captured six. And that's probably going to be what the story is like. These days, as we move forward with our flashbangs, power source one, awesome. Navigation, Illyrium, alloys, oh, good score. Oh, excellent. Uh, yeah, we ran out of flashbangs. That's okay. And Ellis Kid, welcome to Captain Rank, my friend. 
I think it's this way. Just looking at the way this is working. I think that that um, Open XCOM likes to find the soldiers who are like the weakest and have the last progress the least progression at all and promote them. Because really, I mean come on, dude. <laughs> Captain Rank, that's funny. Hmm. Wow. So Man of Steel. This is Rosie's getting this award. Uh is this the award she got last time? That yeah, this may be sometimes what happens is they get it again and again and again. It says first award, but it's not. Somebody who was it in the last mission that was standing in front of the door and got shot a bunch of times but didn't get promoted. May have been Rosie. Now, Rosie got shot a couple times. Uh, Military Cross, that is an award that I think comes from Service. Order of Earth comes from Number of Missions and Purple Heart. Oh yeah, Whack got hit. Rosie, did you get shot this time? I think this this may be an erroneous one, but I think she does, she does her own one. Anyway, awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right. I do want to check those awards out, and I do want to promote some troops, <clears throat> and we'll look at some of those awards, because I've got a little more work done on some of those commendations. I'm planning to do one of the commendation UFOpedia pages per episode as we work through those, so that's cool. All right, let's speed up time. We are 19th of uh, April. We're going to have a bunch of money. We are spending a bunch of money, but I think our score is going to be pretty good this month. So we should be getting close to breaking even. Let's go ahead and get in here and sell. Sell gear. Sell stuff. All right. Sell all the heavy plasmas. Nice. Sell all the plasma rifles. Nice. Oh, that's so good. Already a million dollars. Getting a good chunk of plasma pistols. Alien grenades, okay, I'm still undetermined as to whether to sell off all the mind probes. They have been helpful. Well, hang on to one, one sectoid corpse. And we've got three power sources, wow. Um, we will need some down the road, but we won't need that many. So I can sell some of that jazz off too. I like that. All right, and we've got soldiers, sectoid three, of which we need none. Yoo-hoo, that's awesome. And the sectoid engineer three. I think I'll hang on to these guys because they have some interrogation value and we have two sectoid navigators. Awesome, almost two million dollars. Excellent, excellent. Okay. With my two million dollars, I think I want to hire some more engineers. Yes. Purchase recruit engineers. So it says we've got 51. Let's take that up to a solid. Yeah. A solid 70. Sounds like a nice round number. Okay, and I think our manufacturing is going fine here. Let's check this manufacturer. Um, yeah. So the thing is, having all this stuff, manufacturing and in the works at the same time is taking up workshop space. So I've got 28 engineers, but I've got some more space available. I really don't need this anymore. Let's stop that. Takes up a couple space. Most of the scanners I'll keep going. 63 days good gravy um yeah that's not very helpful but we do want to crank the flashbangs out um so i'm gonna just take everybody off of there and put everybody on there because we're making a ton but they're so useful and that'll be good okay that's that's all right 
Um, I will finish that build up once I get close to finishing this. And the motion scanners will probably keep rolling. I think I'm fine with what we got there. I'm not using too much production space. And I don't have a lot of engineers here already, so that's okay. All right, so done that. And currently researching, just refreshing my sector navigator. Fine. All right, ah, yes, soldiers. Let's see who we've got to promote today. We got a squatty, a squatty, and a squatty. Good. Chica Dose didn't get a promotion. And uh, Tenderfoot got a promotion. That's cool. So we got four squatties to promote. And Captain X Racer. All right. I'll do my magic and I will be right back. Figure out who got promoted. All right. We got four awesome individuals for awesome troopers so omni no is our first one who had been going under the name um um had been going under the name mud masher 2 which is rather unimaginative you like a blonde female we'll make sure you get that and yes there was plenty of power armor to go around by the time your name came up yay and you're actually wearing power armor congratulations you Excellent work. Um, your melee accuracy is not that great. Your strength has gone up a bunch. That's good. Health a bit. Time units, good. Let's check your record out. Um, one mission. Two stuns. You got a navigator and a soldier with a flash bang grenade. Nice. Nice. Uh, that's the missions. Nice score on that. And no medals at this point. That's very, very good. Okay, so Omni Null and well, Hua, congratulations. You actually are the, the third curry. I'm going to uh, shorten your name a little bit. Third curry from uh, XCOM.org. Awesome to have you along. You've got one mission under your belt. Decent time units. Um, kind of middling stats. Mainly accuracy though is pretty good. So we'll give you a K for a knifer. And let's check your record. Um, kills that time two sectoids. Oh, right. You got one with a flashbang and a stun rod. Nice. Okay, looking good. No awards that time. Good work, good work. Rosie, two missions, and you finally got, finally got, uh, got promoted. Nice reactions, by the way. And Rosie, you are mighty meat. Mighty meat, you were hiding under the name Rosie. If you would like a better um, avatar, let me know. Thank you, Mighty Meat, for signing up from the subreddit. Um, good reactions. Uh, strength is improving. Other than that, just pretty average overall. Record, uh, two missions. Good. Kills, one sectoid engineer with a flash bang. I like it. Two UFO, one large scout, one medium scout. A score of 450 awards. Man of Steel, given to a soldier who's been shot several times in a single mission. Now this, this, you got this once, but now it's giving it to you again. This was the soldier who was shot six times in a row during the uh, previous mission. And um, so your first bronze pin is kind of erroneous so not sure why but the engine is breaking a little bit here in that uh, once you get one awarded off and awards it to you again and again and again and even if it's a true award it will sometimes do this okay that's fine congratulations and welcome to the team mighty meat and last but not least tenderfoot you have been uh, well, you've been masquerading as Tenderfoot all this time. You've been Arthanor. Congratulations. Welcome to the team from OpenXCOM.org. Stamina has gone up a bit. Good. Three missions, one kill. Wow. Um, firing, actually, a little tiny bit of improvement there. 
and strength is nice looking good that's very helpful the rest of the stats well we should hope to see some improvements sometime somewhere three missions looking good one sectoid soldier with a pistol nice um, 600 score um, I, I will say this that one uh, for one of the awards I thought it was awarded by score by the score you received and it's not actually it's actually by the number of missions that you do um, so even though this is a good score there's not uh, there won't be an award for that well at this point order of earth at this point two large scouts and order of earth cool very nice um, yeah we'll talk about that when we get to it okay excellent 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 so good to see all of you guys getting promoted see all that let's just check some of our other soldiers records really quick anybody who's on the mission wow ls you've got a lot of missions under your belt maybe that's why you're uh you get you keep getting promoted decent score kills just the one order of earth you got two of those longevity medal XCOM service medal and military cross military cross is participated in many missions yeah and this has been instrumental yeah so that's, that's cool okay and uh, X racer got uh, longevity medal service medal those were I were theirs a military cross and order of earth you also got four missions two large scouts cool uh, you've also got um yeah I thought you would have got more more kills than that Arthur nice we saw yours. The other guy is still waiting. Mr. Bad News. Two sectoids. Um, and two missions. And let's see. One large scout, one medium. Yeah, so you didn't get an order of Earth. Snake. Look at your stack there, dude. Crimson Heart, Purple Heart, Longevity, Military Cross, Order of Earth. Your missions include two large scouts, so that is looks like the criteria for the first level of Order of Earth, and that looks like it's working right. Good, and kills. Oh, I went to uh, Snake. You've got two. You got a Reaper and a Sectoid. Man, good times. Cheeky Dose, nothing there. And Barrett. You got one with the Zapper, that's right. But you've got two missions here. Large Scout, Medium Scout, and no awards for all of that. And Whack got the Purple Heart that last time. Mighty Meat, Man of Steel, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is what it is. Okay, and KFC, which is not one of the soldiers that participated, so we're going to finish off. Okay, wow, it's been 33 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in this episode. I do thank you for joining me. This has been an awesome time. Um, it's been uh, a great great series um i do appreciate all of the viewers that have uh signed up to become part of the force it's going to be a little interesting working everybody in i have two left on the roster so i believe i've got two rookies left too so once we get those promoted that'll be everybody so i'm looking forward to that but uh i'm not saying that you can't sign up and i can't add more so feel free to do that one quick thing as we sign out we will take a look at the we'll look at one of these fine metals here let's look at purple heart because we got a purple heart this time around so purple heart wounds received on the battlefield are tangible evidence of the willingness of XCOM soldiers to put themselves in harm's way this sacrifice is honored in this version of the honored classic award for wounded soldier this medal is given to soldiers who are wounded on the battlefield this award is issued once so you only get one Purple Heart, this is a cool ribbon, and I really like how the medallions came out. So, there you go, the Purple Heart. Excellent! I want to thank you for joining me for episode 21 of Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. I invite you to sign up to join the force. You have been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogovich. We will see you again with episode 22 of Up Close and Personal. Cheers! <laughs>